Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac's Weirdos. Trying to say Northern Lions Challenge Runs, but that's just not the case here, because I was looking at the top comments for one of my most recent videos, and YouTube user by the name of Nova Stador said, Why don't you just do a normal vanilla run, buddy? It's been a while since I've seen one of those, so you know what? Nova Stador, today is your lucky day. We're just gonna play as Isaac, vanilla. It's been a while, you know, vanilla gets a bad rap. Vanilla has this kind of reputation Wow, that's gonna be four free bombs. Well, four for the price of one, I guess, which is still very, very good. Not quite free, though. When I was in university, first year of university, Coke introduced this product called Coca-Cola Black, which is like, it's got the caffeine from cola, but the taste of coffee as well. And nobody liked it, because it tasted like garbage. And then one day we went to, like, the uh, grill on the campus, and it was one of, like, the last days before the school year ended. And they were selling 12 packs of bottles of Coca-Cola Black. That was black with a Q, by the way, which is weirdly enough. Anyway, um, yeah, they were saying 12 packs for the price of one bottle. So it was buy one, get 11 free. Even though I didn't like Coca-Cola Black, I bought as much as I could carry and used that. Um, which probably accounts for my type 2 diabetes. Yeah, now, let's see what this is. Speed down, that's terrible. Moon card is good, though. We are on Basement XL, so I don't have any bombs. Or sorry, I don't have any keys with which to get into item rooms, so the moon can take me to the secret room, but I really want the stars card more than that. Anyway, what I was saying, vanilla gets a bad rap, both amongst the, the you know, for sexual reasons, oh, he's so vanilla, and in the ice cream community, where vanilla is considered like a plain ice cream. That's not the case, man. Vanilla's a flavor, you philistine. You just gotta taste it and appreciate the notes. You look vanilla ice cream, you're boring. You know what? You're boring for judging people based on their ice cream and binding of Isaac run choices. You ding dong. That's right, I just called you the ding dong. Alright, we're gonna use our last bit of money here to try to get some keys. Sadly, we didn't get any. Hopefully, this is a bombs are key pill. Although, if it is, then I wanna open this treasure chest first with a bomb, obviously, because otherwise we'll be devoid of bombs. And having five bombs early on in the game is actually fairly useful. So, this run could potentially go terribly if we don't get any keys here soon. But for now, still, you know, living the dream here. There's a little bit more money. The pill is just bad trip. This has been not just bad trip, but bad luck so far. Like, seriously? Zero? Okay, help me. Ah, uh, we got one free bomb there. Bombs are coming fast and furious. Like a Paul Walker movie. Whatever happened to that guy? Abs like that don't just disappear off the radar in Hollywood, man. He's gonna show up. He'll be on, like, some CBS series that gets canceled after the second season, and when the second season gets announced, you're like, really? Is people watch that? I... It'll be named after some city that the, the network's trying to get trendy. You know, we have Las Vegas and the OC already. Next, it'll be like, this fall, Paul Walker is Albuquerque. He's a detective who's also can speak to dogs. Dogs that are dead. I don't know. So I'm fighting the pony here. That's pretty cool. We're going to get the flying ability if we want it. But flying is so common now. Uh, taking the pony almost seems kind of unnecessary. Uh, so I might- I can reroll the pony item. People have told me this, actually. This is a good chance for me to finally use some skills that I've learned from the comments. People were like, pick up the pony, put it back down, then you can reroll it, because the game basically makes it so that you can't pick it up again after you've already picked it up. It, like, takes it out of the database, I guess. That's gonna be good for us. I can at least get something. Hopefully, like, an HP upgrade, a speed upgrade, a tears upgrade, or a damage upgrade, because right now, uh, we're kinda sore with respect to all of those right now. That's okay, Blue Baby, if you ever want to, you know, hit the pony, you just let me know. I'll be here, and I'll be your mirror. And that would be real Nico. Okay, there we go. You are dead. Now, let's see if this works, commenters. So we put it back down, we re-roll it, and we get the pageant boy. All right, that was a total waste of our time. Uh, so far, this is absolutely terrible. I would have preferred the crate. At least we could get a key out of that and maybe start making some good stuff happen. But as is right now, we <laughs> are... This is shaping up to be potentially one of the worst floors. One of the worst first floors, anyway. I've had worst floors overall, but one of the worst first floors in the Binding of Isaac history. Obviously, one single bomb was enough to take out Duke of Flies there. Uh, we are definitely going to pick up the health upgrade from stem cells here, and we can get the Parasite, but that's really not worth it. If I had the D6 still charged, I would definitely pick up some stuff. Well, it's not a total bust on this floor, because we did get the HP upgrade. We kind of desperately need... Some keys, though. Even if we have money, we could buy keys, but we need to get keys to go to the shop in the first place. So, we really, it's its one of those, like, uh, paradoxes, you know? You need experience to get experience, but every entry-level job requires experience. It's not an entry-level job if it requires experience. 
That's why I made my own way on YouTube. It's the way Dad did it. It's the way America does it. Alright, this did not work out very well for us so far. Um, it's going to be very disappointing if we end up having to leave this floor without going to either of the item rooms. I mean, not going to one of them would be bad enough, but to not be able to go to any of them is just a goddamn disaster, which is especially hilarious considering we cleared out, what, like 17 rooms here? Well, we still got some more left. If we get like one or two bombs, or sorry, one or two keys, that would be very lucky, but it would also allow us to uh, possibly start our quest towards beating this game, which is not looking good so far. At least we're back to full health, alright, we got two more rooms still. This one could potentially pay out. We've got the bombs necessary to go, never mind. How about this room? This is our last chance. We could always get skeleton key from one of those item rooms. Well, that is fucking horseshit. Well, uh, I would say that we have to abandon our quest to- Well, you know what? We have one last ditch effort. Never let anybody tell you that I don't give my all in the Binding of Isaac. Here we are in the Basement XL, and I am busting my ass to get some keys to allow us to have a chance here. I'm spending all of my money on this slot machine. If the slot machine doesn't pay out, I'll blow it up. Maybe we'll get a key from the explosion. A lot of this is unlikely. But we're still so early in the game that things could turn around super easily. Like, if we just got the dollar here and a key, then uh, all is forgiven. We can buy great items from the shop. The shop actually is worthwhile on this run, which would be the first time in a long time that I can safely say that. Red Hearts out the ass, sadly. For once, I don't need them. Oh, my God. God is an awesome guy to do. I don't know the rest of the song. We're going to continue onwards here. Can we have one more key, please? Oh, my God. We are the luckiest people on Earth. I can't believe this actually worked out. We also picked up two extra bombs for the cost of one bomb. Which is basically going to compensate us for the fact that I... Uh, used a bomb to get into the shop. Now, watch just garbage items in the uh, item room here. Well, the miter is not a garbage item. It's actually the exact opposite. That is fantastic. We're going to have a ton of spirit hearts. We got some more money back. Uh, now we're just going to walk all the way back here to our original item room. Or the first item room we came across. This has been an incredibly long first floor here, but it has the potential to actually work out fairly well for us. I'm sorry that I said all those things, Isaac. I didn't mean it. It was just those wicked games you play. I'm not going to sing wicked games, mostly because I had no talent, but also I'm worried about being litigated against by Chris Isaac. Chris Isaac? The Binding of Chris Isaac? I don't know. Someone out there is now working on a YouTube animation with that exact name. Uh, Peeper's Eye. Curious. I'm going to take it. Could have re-rolled it. Two reasons I didn't re-roll it. One, I think if I go back into the boss room, there's like a 10% chance that maybe the deal with the devil room will still appear there. And I will be able to re-roll those items and possibly get something even better. The other uh, percentage, or the other thing that factored into my decision is Peeper's Eye is not that bad. It's not great. Uh, but against bosses, it can be fairly useful. And uh, it could help me out in some certain situations here. Why are half of my shots red? Is that, does Peeper's Eye also give you a damage upgrade? Weird. Like, it gives you the same kind of damage upgrade as a chemical peel, I think, where you get, like, one of your shots becomes more damaging. Well, we don't have to deal with the devil, but after eight and a half minutes, we're finally done with the first floor. And you know what? That was terrible, but all told, it ended up working out fairly well for us in the long run. The very, very long run. Normally, the first two floors take me, like, ah, uh, you know, not that long, let's just say. Uh, but you can't always get what you want. Well, in this case, we did get basically exactly what we wanted. It just took us longer than expected. So we're on Catacombs 1 here. It's going to be a reasonably long floor. And we're still far, far away from uh, having items that could potentially carry us through the end of the game. But the Miter is a good first step towards that. We now just need extra health damage, and I would prefer some extra stats, honestly. We lost our Spirit Heart already. Um, by extra stats, I mostly mean I would love a Tears upgrade for increased rate of fire. And beyond that, uh, oh, get out of there! Isaac, get out of there! I'm gonna die! I almost died there. I may still die on this room. We lost, like, four hearts on this first room. In my defense, it was unstoppable. I basically just got trapped in between these two douchebags here. Again, this rock, which I had to blow up with a bomb. Well, we're gonna go looking for some more health, because now I am greatly concerned about my chances on this run. But it's okay, you just gotta... These guys will only do half a heart each. Oh, man. Okay, well now, we're kind of in no man's land. Well, not no man's land. I've been here several times before, but we really need some red hearts. And of course, after getting all the red hearts on the last floor, well, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say we'll get none on this floor. Technically still true, because we didn't get any... Uh, we got a spirit heart, not a red heart, but alas. 
I can't really complain as that is still gonna keep me alive. What is wrong with me? Why do I keep walking into these shots? Now we are again on the razor's edge. There's a key we can use to go to the item room, which I am gonna do right away. For several reasons. One being I desperately need some health if it's on display. Secondly, we are gonna want to use our D6 as uh, reasonably as possible, meaning I am largely going to use it in a situation where I can still get charges for boss room potentially. We're gonna re-roll it. <sighs> I'm gonna take sacrificial dagger. Just because there's not gonna be enough space for us to re-roll. Uh, both the boss room and the item room, and Sacrificial Dagger. In this case, normally I would probably still take the boss item and reroll Sacrificial Dagger, but I'm thinking when I'm so low on health, maybe Sacrificial Dagger will be able to save me uh, uh, an acrimonious death here. So just play it cool, back the F up. You've got the range necessary to take these guys out from afar. More like a fart. More like Aladdin 2 re Return of Jafart. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Oh! Be smart. Be smart. Keep calm and carry on. Don't come around that way! Wow, that was garbage. Okay, we're gonna restart here. I'm not happy about this run at all. But at least maybe we're gonna get a, a cleaner start to Isaac this time. And that was just god awful. I'm a little embarrassed, but also it was. Things kinda just came off the rails quickly there. We're gonna definitely take Whore of Babylon. This is an investment in our future. It might not be that useful right now, but who knows? Maybe we get something like Guppy's Paw. And then we managed to have a great run. Basically, there's a serious chance, probably like a 75% chance, that Horde Babylon ends up being totally worthless for us and almost never benefits us. Uh, but then there's like a 25% chance that it basically makes this the easiest run we've ever had in our entire lives. Look at how easy the first floor can be if, you know, all is right in the world. We found the secret room. We're already done with the floor except for the boss. We got a slot machine here which may or may not pay out with anything useful. But at the very least, it's only a four cent cost. Well, now it's a little bit more, I guess. Hey, we got a key for it, so that was definitely worth it. We paid five cents, basically, for a key. And a pretty fly, that is beautiful. That is a fine room. We're gonna check out our curse room here. Which may be the death of me, but probably won't be. I had a feeling we would just run into some spider bros there. But that's okay, we're gonna leave, and presumably, whatever boss I come across, I should still be able to beat with two hearts. Yeah, it's famine, it's not the easiest boss to come across at this point in the game, but I fought him so many times that uh, I really have no business taking damage against Fallen at this point in my Isaac career. But we're really only gonna know that everything's okay once we get him down into his, uh, you know, permanent head state. I'm just gonna keep this up. We're doing basically no damage, but on the next floor we could possibly get a deal with the devil. You know I'm gonna be looking for Mom's Knife and Brimstone. I hate to say it because there's people out there who think that those items are overused. They are overused, but it's not my fault, man. It's the balance of the game that makes a Mom's Knife or Brimstone pickup borderline necessary. Well, not borderline necessary, but a huge asset when it comes to actually beating this game, which has gotten substantially more difficult over the past few updates, if you haven't noticed. And by that, I mean, you know, since Wrath of the Lamb and the updates that have come since then. Anyway, we're gonna keep this up. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, I'm explaining my piece as to why Mom's knife is so important to me. It's integral because if you have other holes in your run, statistically, if you have like bad tears or not great health or low speed, it will compensate for those. And oftentimes you are going to have holes in your run uh, because, you know, you can't always get what you want, basically. Better to have holes in your run than runs in your hole, that's what I always say. <laughs> I've never said that before until just now because it's gross. Uh, we got another key, so we could go to the library. You could also go to the item room and reroll spider butt to pick up Ipecac, which is gonna make this an interesting run for sure. Now I definitely want to go to that library and pick up a book of revelations or something akin to it, but certainly we've got some interest there's some consequences of this run now uh, that are gonna be very interesting. Some of the consequences are that we cannot take $3 bill, and we cannot take uh, my reflection, and we probably don't want to take homing shots either. Red patch is okay. Uh, we're just gonna move onwards here. The other thing is though, we do, like, the thing with Ipecac is that it's high risk. It also carries a ton of damage, so it's an item I actually like getting most of the time. We're gonna check out the boss quickly. Uh, most of the time, I enjoy getting Ipecac. Not all the time, most of the time. Sometimes, Ipecac can be a pain in the ass, like this when the enemy is really quick. Uh, but if we time our shots appropriately, we should be able to take care of it. 
difficult because this thing is so quick. Ah, oh, there we go. We made it work. Okay, so we got little Steven, which we'll take. We got to deal with the angel, which is kind of remarkable. I would love Holy Grail. Well, we'll take Scapular. I, what don't I re-roll it? Scapular's garbage. Yeah, we got the relic instead. That's ten times better. That feels good. Uh, we could go down to the next floor, but I might as well, while I'm here, look for the secret room. Uh, and beyond that, go to this library, because again, it might be worth giving up my book of Re or my D6 if I could pick up Book of Revelations or maybe even Book of Belial, but this, it's kind of garbage. Uh, two Necronomicons. There is our secret room, which contains decent amount of money, and then it's down to the next floor. So now we're making fairly good time, sort of. <laughs> We've got good items with us, that's for sure. Relic and Ipecac are gonna give us a chance, at least, at, at making this work for us. But we really need some HP upgrades if we're gonna survive. Because otherwise, I could easily end up, you know, killing myself. Red patch works for us. There, I could easily end up killing myself with, uh, Ipecac here. Especially when we get on some more difficult runs. There's some more HP. There's another bomb. But I really need keys at this point. Not least of which for the item room, but also, you know, possibly the shop. Now that I have a little bit of extra health. Or sorry, a little bit of extra money to spend. More bombs. We are on Capes Part 1, it's not Catacombs, so no big deal there. This is a slightly difficult set of enemies to be dealing with here. And I really want an HP upgrade. Like, I feel like that's the most necessary piece of our Isaac puzzle right now. Wow, that was fast. Okay, we got a Spirit Heart, which is great. A Tarot card, which is the Chariot, which is good. Uh, we can certainly use that on a boss. We probably won't save it. It's a decent card, and you know... If we were trying to play the best Isaac game ever made, we would probably save it, but I don't think it's 100% worth saving. Because it requires some of my mental energy to, to keep note of the fact that it's in the queue, you know? So I can instead spend that mental energy uh, elsewhere to benefit both myself and the public at large. Well, the public that's watching this anyway. Because my play will be better as a result in all likelihood. So we're just gonna- oh! Wow, thank you, little Steven. I did not expect you to be so useful there. We're gonna be fighting Pestilence, which is cool. We, are, we will just destroy him with the Chariot, basically. More or less, anyway. One more shot from Ipecac will probably do it. Indeed it did! So that is gonna give us a second cube of meat. So we got a nice little suite of familiars following us around here, but we definitely want to finish out this floor strong by trying to go to the item room. Otherwise, you can easily find that, you know, a run that's strong in the early game becomes not so strong in the later game, if you are kind of negligent. We can go to the shop, because I can just bomb my way in there, which is cool. We're gonna find Candle. This is all very tempting. I could take a Spirit Art as well, but we have the Relic, so I should just be able to, like, be okay with that regardless. Why not take the Candle? The Candle will be beneficial for us on rooms where I... I uh, don't want to fire Ipecac because I'm worried about getting hit myself. So we've got very high damage, but very p particular kind of sets of items here. Uh, like items that are not going to work in all situations, but hopefully they have enough overlap uh, that they'll work in all, almost all situations that we come across between the candle and Ipecac. Which, and the other thing is I could fire candle to start a room and then fire Ipecac afterwards and kind of just alternate over and over. So we still have no keys. We're going to have to bypass the item room, sadly. We did pick up the candle though, which is very beneficial, and we have a nice uh, suite of damage now. Like, we're doing crazy damage, and this is one of the ideal builds, I think, for taking out Isaac and Blue Baby. We have Horror of Babylon too, if I could just manage to get, like, Guppy's Paw or something, that would be beautiful. Uh, like, get Guppy's Paw, use it, and then never pick up HP upgrades again for the rest of the game. We're on Catacombs now, which is a little worrying, but that's okay. Candle is actually a little bit better than Ipecac, because I have way more control over my shots. But we're gonna, the other thing is, Candle doesn't have the same range. So we're just gonna try to blow up some of these, uh, TNT barrels right now, because it's not been great so far. Uh, get this one. We have a boss fight, which we might as well take right away, to be honest with you. I don't see any reason why not. We did lose a little bit of health in that room, but that's okay. And it's gonna be the Wretched. So I'm thinking Ipecac's gonna be, uh, unlikely to hit here. Uh, but when it does, it does a decent amount of damage. But Candle is gonna be, uh, able to absolutely destroy this horrifying creature here. Like so, that almost did it all actually. And Ipecac's great at taking out the spiders, which is awesome for us. Well, back it up. Oh, the spiders have got me! I got trapped in the same corner just like last time. Okay, well we do have an eternal heart, which is great. I can take that down to the next floor. Basically extra HP in the bank along with that extra HP there as well. And we're gonna try to get to the item room again. Now you saw that things went terribly there for me there. 
That's okay, though, because we're gonna get items so that that doesn't happen to us in the future. Hopefully. Uh, this is actually a better room for Ipecac, I think. Cause... Oh, maybe not. Depends if they're charging directly at me or not. Uh, so, like, that should be enough. And that was apparently not enough. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. This should be... There we go. That last one tried to get away. No such luck for him. Please, just give me a key. What the... Someone on the race that I posted with Green, Green 9090, um, posted that the random number generator in Isaac is tied to the system clock, so provided you're all in the same time zone, I should just use Ipecac for this, but I'm worried that I would just kill Isaac, which is why I'm using bombs. Um, or not kill Isaac, kill uh, Judgment here. But, um, yeah, considering, like, if that's the case, that means it's weird that I do all these Isaac runs around similar times to one another because that would explain why I get similar items a lot of the times and perhaps why you know sometimes I get no keys and that means I'm less likely to get keys on a run in the future at least that's my bias could be confirmation bias is what I'm trying to get at there uh, but who knows man who knows I just play the video game I don't analyze the video game I could analyze the video game but I don't really want to isn't that the greatest, like, seven-year-old excuse of all time? I could do this, but I don't really want to. Lack of motivation is admirable. Uh, we're just gonna leave here, because obviously there's nothing for us. Still no keys, but we do have more money here, which I can use. Normally I wouldn't... Why is this not blowing up the rock? Normally I wouldn't care about this extra, like, two cents, but because we've already started the judgment train rolling, this seems like a good idea for us. But, ah, we might as well go to him right away. Why not? Hook me up, Judgment. We should look for secret rooms as well. Especially if that secret room could take us to the boss trap room, maybe get us an extra HP upgrade. Which again, I'm hoping at some point we'll be able to use Guppy's Paw on and get a permanent Horror Babylon. This is not the secret room. This is not the secret room. How about this one down here? This is also not the secret room, I think, unless I terribly missed some shots. Oh, it is! I missed like four shots in a row. I was just about to leave there. There we go, so we got some extra cash. We will absolutely spend this on Judgment. Judgment will give us an HP upgrade. And we'll be happy, boys. I kind of wish... Again, Guppy's Paw, man. Let me go to the Ball Strap Room. There's so many benefits right now for us to have Guppy's Paw and not have any Red Hearts. The Relic can already give us the HP. It's okay. Uh, we could bomb our way into the shop, actually. With Ipecac, which I'm probably going to do. Can't believe I didn't take damage there. Um, yeah, the reason we do that, of course, is because... Oh, that key is a godsend. Um, we could use our money to possibly buy something from the shop that would benefit us here. Two of Hearts, not really that useful. Uh, Necronomicon, just showing up constantly. Now I realize that I should have picked it up in when we saw it in the library earlier. But, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Almost done with this room. The only reason I'm still exploring is for that outcome you just saw there, where basically... Uh, I'm just hoping Relic is gonna hook me up with some more Spirit Hearts. Wow, Wrath is fucked. We do so much more damage with it. Did he just walk into me? You can just walk over it? Uh, we do so much more damage with Ipecac than we do with the candle. I did not expect that. At least to this guy. Let him kill himself, though. Well, okay, we'll finish the job. And we got our key back, so that's good. So we're gonna take a shortcut back. We're gonna go through the shop. We got an extra eight cents that we could possibly use for something. I don't know what, but, you know, something. Perhaps we could pick up, uh... Da, 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 I don't even know. We already have... I, apparently that wall is just unhittable. We already have an item that we can use every single room. I guess we could pick up the ladder. I would rather just buy another spirit art, though, to be honest. We can usually bomb our way into situations via rocks, and the odd situation we can't is okay. I would rather just guarantee myself a little bit more survival. And, of course, the extra HP upgrade from this floor. 24 minutes, we are finally on the Depths Part 1. This is Run 2, my favorite Blur song. So, there we go. Uh, do I want Red Patch? I think I want Blue Baby Soul, to be honest with you. Red Patch is fine, and actually, it's, it's pretty beneficial because I constantly hit myself with Ipecac. But, there we go. If we can just keep going here, we should be okay. On, any, on rooms where enemies are close like this, we got a nice one-two combo. Use the candle on the enemies that are close, and then immediately switch over to Ipecac, which can get the enemies that are more far away, like so. Even though this is functionally proven worthless for us. On this room, anyway. 
We are basically, like, we're super powerful right now. This is the ultimate glass cannon run. Maybe not the ultimate glass cannon run, but certainly a glass cannon run. Although we have decent amount of health as well, so I can't really sweat on that. Uh, sweat that. Sweat on that is something totally different and possibly much dirtier. Who knows? We could probably get that cash from Ipecac if we just bounce it out a little bit more. There we go. Ipecac gets a bad rap, man. It's a great item. It just has such terrible synergy. It has the potential to be so awful uh, that it's oftentimes not worth taking. And again, I will probably just play Judgment here because Judgment can give me HP upgrades, whereas Shops can only give me, uh, at this point, largely items that I don't need because we already get charges on the, the candle normally. Yeah, see, just an extra HP upgrade. There again, Guppy's Paw would set me up probably for life in this situation. Uh, so I would be very pleased with that. Unfortunately, that is not the situation we're in yet. We need to earn a deal with the devil, which is kind of unlikely considering we've already had to deal with the angel, I guess. Uh, feel free to attack this guy at any time, by the way. There we go. Well, it's counterfeit penny? No, flat penny. Flat penny is more valuable because it's going to give us keys. Let's check into the secret room. That might have missed. Um, but it's going to give us keys, and we really do need keys now to build up for our eventual trip to the chest. I'm not trying to count our chickens before they hatch, of course. Uh, I just want to uh, give ourselves the possibility, you know, should that situation arise, that we can actually use some items on the chest for good. And we only need really a few keys. I mean, we're going to be getting rid of uh, our trinkets soon anyway, because we already have... Or we're going to be getting the Polaroid, because we have to get the Polaroid. I'm not using Cheat Engine at all for this run. Alright, so we got Monstro Deuce. And we're just going to... If I can get him in the permanent laser state, I would love to. But it's kind of unlikely, given our suite of items right now. Although it's working out fairly well for us so far. Again, if I can just get him to trigger his laser. Ah, oh, now he's doing his jumping attack. What a dickhead. I'm not the dickhead, you're the dickhead. One more. There we go. We got another deal with the Angel. We got money, which equals keys, basically. Yeah, four keys. That was beautiful. We'll still take this down to the next floor. You can never have too many keys. Guardian Angel's fine. We've got things spinning around us, so... Um, this basically gives us a decent amount of added protection. We're going to continue checking for a secret room. With this many keys, now we can go to the shop. And possibly buy something there. Even though, as I said earlier, I didn't mean to shit on the shop, but it's not really that useful for us. I really want Guppy's Paw. Like... Otherwise, like I said, Horror of Babylon has a pretty strong potential to do nothing for us, but it would be so good if we could actually get it. This is bad for us. Drop a bomb, get out of there, sacrifice the spirit hearts, it doesn't matter. You have enough to survive for a while. And these familiars that only shoot when I shoot are not doing too much help for me right now. Charm of the Vampire, sure, it's fine. It's not good, really, but we'll take it. Well, that almost works. Let's like, never send a boy to do a man's job. Ipecac will just finish the job here. More keys. Not a secret room, believe it or not. Chest? Oh, sorry, not chest. Shop, that's what I meant. Play it cool here. Cause we, like, as long as we stay alert, we basically have limited risk to ourselves here. Shop's gonna have super greed. That might actually be good for us. Uh, because we're gonna be able to get some money we can spend on the shop on the next floor. We're a little bit low on money. Yeah, we picked that. And we're gonna get a ton of keys as well. I totally forgot about that aspect of things. Oh, come on. Seriously? Like, there we go, finally. So, I'm thinking we're gonna get like three keys here. Nope. Only one. Well, still, that's okay. We only spent one to get in there. But we still have the secret room to go to, if we could find it at least. Not there. Not there. Um, so we're gonna have to explore to the left, which I don't really want to do. I would love to get a compass from the next shop. That's that's my ideal setup, I guess. Or, like, in all likelihood. That is what we're gonna get. So we'll take Flat Penny with us. Key situation is still not perfect. I think we might have just missed the secret room here. Wow, I'm just really bad with those shots, apparently. Three more cents equals three more keys. All right. I can live with that. We can now go to the uh, golden chest in the mob trap room, but I don't think that's really that important for us to do in this current situation. So let's just go down and to the right. Fairly long run so far. Uh, we're just going to be fighting mom at around like the 35 minute mark in all likelihood. But we wow, it's very good luck to start out. Well, good luck and bad luck. We started out next to the item room, but sadly, uh, the item room did not benefit us all that much with mom's bra. I'm just gonna basically take all this stuff here, blow up everything that we come across. I could go 
for the, uh, like, it could have gone to the Blood Bank and just taken all my Red Hearts away and gotten the Horror of Babylon, but that doesn't seem like a smart idea. If I could trade those Red Hearts in for Spirit Hearts via Guppy's Paw, that would be beautiful, but just giving them away doesn't seem all that good. Although I do have the two of hearts. Who knows? Anyway, that, that train has sailed, so we don't need to worry about that right now. Let's take these guys out. Oh, that candle didn't kill them in one hit? How does that work? That doesn't seem fair or likely. Uh, there's another key there we cannot get to, I believe. Now, we're gonna take some damage on this room. There's no two bones about that. Is there any way we could crank up the damage on uh, the candle a little bit? It seems to be... I think my candle's defective here. More spirit hearts, very useful. Thank you. Uh, and since we got some keys, why not open this? Uh, I kind of figured we'd get some more keys as a result of that, but I was incorrect. We are going to want to go to the shop here. Again, the compass could prove supremely valuable on later floors. A little bit of backtracking now can save us a lot of backtracking later. So hopefully we can just come across the shop kind of naturally here. Probably won't have the compass in it, but if it does, it would be very beneficial for us, of course. And again, stacking up keys now, very useful. And as soon as, if we get the compass and we stop having to backtrack so much, things are going to start moving very quickly on this run, which I'm excited for, because so far it's been pretty gone to, gone to, let's do some Lord of the Rings. Uh, pretty goddamn slow so far, but anyway, pop it open. We get Isaac's Fork, which is more life steal, totally worthless for us. B believe you me, I was very tempted to just go fight Mom right there, but, you know, we have a, a responsibility to do due diligence here and check out... Uh, the stuff that we get on the left, which is probably going to be a sprawling metropolis full of enemies that are my least favorite in the game. But we got to do what we got to do. Plus, you know, the relic will actually get some uh, extra charges as a result. Give us some extra spirit hearts. Everybody's happy as a result. Well, that was... I, I thought it was going to get both, and then it got none. Similarly, this leaper somehow still lives. There we go, finally. And the nickel is... A, worthless to us, and B, uh, kind of out of our reach anyway. So again, Ipecac, just gonna drop these shots in. More relic charges. More keys. We will probably take the time to get these pennies out of this terrible situation they're in, because it represents the possibility of extra keys for myself. Sadly, no, but oh well. Now, this is gonna be a tricky dodge, but I think we're okay. Yeah, we're fine. Keep this up, and we're looking for the shop on this left side. I love when you have items that make zombies bad. Because otherwise these are the most annoying enemies in the game for me. But hey, we've basically neutered them by way of Ipecac and the candle. We have two items that make zombies bad. Lucky me. I'm just going to fire in some Ipecac shots. We're a little bit, I'm not going to say unhittable, because then you're just inviting disaster. Uh, but it's difficult to hit us by way of Guardian Angel, Cube of Meat, and uh, the Pretty Fly that we have. That's Goat Hoof. No point really in taking a Trinket now. We will take the Pill though, because why not? This will give us health up. Beautiful. And we have two of hearts. So we basically just got a free HP upgrade there. Well, I mean, it was the exact opposite of free because it cost us 15, 5 cents, but you know. We're just going to check for secret rooms and we found one immediately. This is actually bad. I mean, it's going to give us a few keys, which is good, too. Uh, but I was hoping that the secret room was going to be next to that boss trap room so we could leverage that for an extra item. But in any case, cannot complain as we are now done with this floor, about to fight Mom. And I assume this is going to be an easy boss fight. Sadly, we have no compass. Oh well. You know, as Nas says, life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we get high. Because you never know when you're going to go. Uh, Mom doesn't know when she's going to go right now. But we do. At about, you know, 35.30 in this video. Uh, she will be deceased, if not a little bit sooner, actually. Anyway, Flat Penny has done its job. We have 13 keys now, which is almost certainly enough to carry us through our need for the rest of the game. With Candle, we can hit those extremities, I think. In fact, you might even be able to do it with Ipecac. Uh, but mostly I'm just going to try to keep it simple here and avoid hitting myself, which is going to be a full-time job in its own right. But mostly, we're going to play a little bit more defensively than I'm used to here, believe it or not. And it's working out fairly well for us so far. We have taken some damage. That's to be expected, I think, given the circumstances and the items that we are holding. Wow! Okay, so we could actually hit Mom with the, uh, Ipecac when it was closed. Or, like, when the extremities were closed. I had no idea. So we gotta play this cool for a second. Joker card is awesome. We'll take that down to the next floor. Well, I mean, actually, we should probably use it on this floor. What's the pill? Tears down. Not a big deal. Uh, the Eternal Heart is a big deal. The Polaroid's a big deal. We have Joker and two of hearts. 
I mean, I kind of feel like we should use the Joker card right now. And that's going to give us the Bible, which is worthless. And then we're just going to have to walk all the way back down. I was, again, you know what I was hoping for with that Joker card. Deal with the Devil, Guppy's Paw, then you get the Whore of Babylon, and then you're like, oh, we have 500 Spirit Hearts, Ipecac, and an unbelievable amount of damage. But, you know, we're going to do things the other way. We're going to hold on to that Two of Hearts. We're going to use it as a pseudo full health pill if we need to. Uh, and we're just going to truck along elsewhere uh, down here. We have everything we need. Yes, the Polaroid is our only necessary item at this point. All right, so we're on the Wound Part 1. We got that extra damage, or extra health from the Eternal Heart. I almost walked into my own Ipecac there, but stopped myself just at the nick of time. And, oh, I didn't even see that guy teleport down here by way of him being a champion, I guess. All right, but we got another Spirit Heart. That's okay. Pennies are now worthless to us. I'll still probably pick many of them up uh, because it's almost unavoidable, but largely those pennies are going to be meaningless. And you know what? With the amount of keys that we have, it's not worth wasting a bomb because we'll probably... Well, I guess we won't. We don't need these bombs because we have Ipecac, but yeah, it's not worth our effort, shall we say. I love this room. Why are these guys so much stronger than I expected they would be? Maybe I don't love this room. Taking damage against Blast Assist is a seriously, like, unsubbed moment. Oh, it was the boss version of Blast Assist. That's why he took more damage than I expected. And it's okay. He'll be dead quickly. Uh, and we're still doing fine with respect to our hearts here. I think that much is sure. So we do kill Angel Fetuses in one hit with the Blue Candle. Or one hit with Ipecac, which makes sense as it is an enormous ball of vomit. Hands on you just fine. Cool, we'll make our way out here. We find a room that I don't really appreciate. Although, the good thing about this room is that the laser can kill the vaginal silkworms. The other thing we haven't really... I don't know what happened there. The other thing we haven't really talked about is the fact that Ipecac does do poison damage, so this can stack on bosses and help us out a great deal against, you know, an Isaac or a Blue Baby, for example. Are you serious? Is this guy just unhittable? There we go. I guess you, you can't hit him directly, you gotta catch him in the explosion or something. But if the explosion's on a wall, it's just not gonna work. Alright, Candle did do its job there. Well, that was unfortunate. We ended up taking some damage. Again, shit happens. Come at me, Diglett. We managed to kill it. I didn't even know that it was there, but... Or I didn't even know that it was there. And again, continuing onwards, Wound Part 1 has not been too good to us so far, but I think we're at around the same health we started with, so... It's not like we're losing the bank or anything here. Family farm is safe. For now, anyway. But things are gonna get harder. If we end up coming across Utero next, who knows what happens. I still think we're, we're basically safe. I think we're gonna be fine through to the Cathedral, honestly. I think beating Isaac is gonna be easy enough with the set of items that we have. Like, we, have, we basically have a, a set of items that are tailor-made for taking out Isaac. I don't really wanna mess with that. If it was a golden chest, I probably would have. Uh, but yeah, we do damage quickly, in discrete bursts, and Candle also destroys uh, all of the projectiles that he shoots at us. So basically, from a, and not to mention the you know the Halo of Flies and Guardian Angel setup we've got going on here. So yeah, we have a, a great setup for taking out Isaac. Unfortunately, uh, we're not quite there yet, and it is taking us forever. If only we had the compass, this would be much cleaner. But it certainly makes up for that terrible first run we've had. Uh, wait, there's a Spirit Heart there. Absolutely want to pick that up. The bomb's probably useful as well. Who knows? Wow, that was a very nice bomb there. Uh, with the amount of keys that we have, this is worth it, I think. Just gonna get three cents. Okay, I take that back. It was not worth it at all. Picking up red hearts like crazy, which I don't understand why, but okay. You know, there's worse things in the world than having a constant stream of health. There's another bomb, which we will pick up. Again, I'm not sure if those bombs will ever be useful for me, but on the off chance that they are, I should pick them up. Tossing these in here. One more. There. Come on. Diglett. Now is not the time for your shenanigans. Please tell me we are getting close to the end of this floor. This is one of the longest feeling wound part ones. Oh, that came out wrong. <laughs> came out like a sexual in a creepy serial killer way. Mm -mm, girl. You got one of the longest feeling wound part ones I've ever had. I apologize, by the way, if you're from the southern United States. There's no need for me to apply that accent on top of that and apply that, uh, you know. Well, I'm, I don't know. I don't know data on serial killers. Are most of them from the southern United States? I don't think so. You know, there's serial killers in other countries, other regions. 
So I think that was just an, an unfair characterization, and I apologize for that. But it's one of the few accents that I can do with some form of recognizability, so, you know, there is that as well. So that blast this fight was super easy. We'll take more HP. Who knows, maybe after the wound part 2 we'll get a deal with the devil, we'll get our... Guppy's Paw, finally. Incredibly unlike- Aw, oh, get out of me. Get out of me? Reminds me of that scene from Portlandia where they're doing Battlestar Galactica. I need you right here. Get, get out of here. Anyway, Edward James almost, don't kill me. Okay, keep it up. Poison damage got to him. See, the poison damage is pretty effective sometimes. Just gonna drop in some fat Ipecacs here. And continue onwards. Hopefully, we have chosen the correct direction here. The keys may be valuable at some point in the future, but not right now. That's the same uh, distinction that I apply to my old Ninja Turtles action figures as well. Maybe one day these will be valuable, but right now I'm just keep them in the basement, Mom. Uh, so we do have some bosses to deal with here. I, I basically just took an HP upgrade uh, at the cost of dealing with some bosses. I thought about not doing it because HP upgrades at this point in the game have the potential to be more trouble than they're worth. I mean, it w not if you just found one with no risk, then yeah, sure, take it. Uh, but in this situation, if I end up losing a couple spirit hearts, then functionally, I probably would have been better off not taking it. But because we have the two of hearts kill, or bicycle card, I think it was worth our efforts to take it. Seriously, Silkworm, you just need to, you need to go, man. There we go. Now we're going to be fighting Loki, which I did not expect, but that's okay, because Loki is one of the easiest bosses that we could possibly deal with at this point in our Isaac careers. Especially if he never creates any bomb flies. Oh, I forgot we had to deal with three. Okay, whatever. Come at me, bro. Eat the bomb. Who cares? Chubb, we've been down this road a hundred times. Why can't we be friends? Please don't sue me. If you wrote the song, I've changed it slightly. Now it's incomprehensible to the judges of the court. Okay. One last candle. No. One last Ibicac? No. Right, y'all. Oh, there we go. Finally, we get a spirit out for our troubles. It was a long fight. It was worth it overall. Sadly, we have chosen poorly. And there goes that spirit art we just picked up. Diglett lasts longer than one candle, which I did not expect. Vaginal Silkworm is always a pain in the ass. Please tell me that we're just gonna go straight up here and the boss fight will be... Oh my god. I guess I'll just stand here and take damage because of my general malaise with respect to my directional abilities so far. I just killed like two enemies with only Guardian Angel and the other familiars following us around. I still can't see our spirit darts losing, like losing them, which is good. Man, this has been a long Isaac run though. Longer than I expected. Perhaps even a little longer than I wanted. I expected, you know, get a quick Isaac run in the books, have a second cup of coffee, and, you know, maybe do a Steam Sale Spotlight or something like that. Now, uh, my whole day's been thrown into disarray. We just destroyed Demon Judgment because I'm a dickbag. Uh, basically, we ran into, like, zero enemies getting over here, though. Which is beautiful for us because it means we've got to be getting fairly close to the boss at this point. Pill is what? Bad gas? Probably not worth uh, functionally, like, seven hearts that we're going to get out of the Two of Hearts card here. Um, drop some Ipecac in here. I wish, yeah, I want the brain guys to stick together after they explode. It makes them substantially easier to kill. The bombs are not really that important for us. Candle is. And if we can just knock some of these guys out of the equation, then we'll deal with the doppelganger later. Please tell me. There we go. Now we'll just get this guy over here. We might find the secret room here. Strength, sure, why not? I mean,. We're just going to take the two of hearts card anyway, but strength card could be valuable in certain situations. More money, yeah, why even bother at this point? we got to speed up a little bit. Camtasia is a weird foible for me, where uh, if I, the run goes longer than an hour, about 50% of the time it just decides, hey, you're not going to be doing an Isaac run today. And I'm like, oh, come on, Camtasia, I already did an Isaac run today. And it's like, no, um, there's a glitch in my programming, sorry, so we're going to try to finish this run before the hour mark. I realize there have been hour-long episodes of Isaac in the past. I don't know why Camtasia does this. I'm just the messenger. We're going to be fighting Mom's Heart here, which is probably going to be uh, like a 30-second fight. Provided I can actually hit these lasers. There we go. So we're just going to like spam Ipecac, basically. That didn't work out too well for us there. We're going to time Ipecac. Forget the spamming part. 
Now we're gonna rigorously time Ipecac to hit at exactly the right moment. There we go. So we're gonna do it like this. Oh, but now we're fighting a boss, so it doesn't even matter. But like, two Ipecac shots or a candle maybe should be enough to take him out anyway. There we go. He is dead. We got some life steal, which is totally worthless. Wait for the next boss. For zombies. Cool. Yeah, now we've got the perfect rhythm. We can get in one shot while we wait for the next set of items. And now we've got permanent bomb stay. We didn't even see Chubb. That's beautiful. Easy boss fight. Very easy boss fight. Might as well shoot some candles in in the meantime. Super easy. Deal with the devil, but that just takes us down to Shoal. So now we go up to the cathedral and we try to find the boss right away. So I'm going to go against all of my instincts. Because so far those have proved terrible in finding my way to the boss. Keep it up. Just drop these in here. We've already got the permanent force state. Permanent X state is, is slowly becoming my favorite Northern Lion in-joke. How am I going to hit this guy? Not like that. Not like that either. Candle, Ipecac. Candle, no. Candle, Ipecac. Sort of worked, I guess. We did see our spirit arts briefly there, which gave me a moment of reflection. And let me know that I've actually been doing kind of unacceptably poor lately. And with this run, we should have a decent chance. This is kind of a cool run, because it does give us the uh, chance of success. Uh, but not with items that we normally take. Like, it's been a while since I've had an Ipecac run, I think. Certainly, I, I kind of got soured on Ipecac from the first challenge run suggestion that I did that was like, Ipecac, my reflection! And then I was like, oh man, I cannot do this in the future. I gotta take more reasonable runs. That is fucking impossible. Uh, coming in here. I'm thinking maybe we've, we've gone the right way. I can't guarantee it, but... So far, we haven't reached a dead end, which is great. Empress card is good, but we need to stick with the two of hearts for now. Why, why even come down here? There's no way that there's possibly a boss room in there. So far, so good. Widow's just gonna eat shit on this one, basically. There's not much he can do. There you go. Uh, we have a curse room, so I totally am eating my words again. This was absolutely the wrong way to go. I'm interested to see. We're gonna beat Isaac. That much is basically a foregone conclusion, unless we come across some of, like, literally the hardest rooms I've ever seen. Uh, on the way to Isaac. It's gonna be interesting to see how the chest helps me out, though, uh, with respect to the items that we get. It's kind of a tough room, I can't deny that. We're gonna get a spirit art for our trouble, so as long as I only get hit once, at least we break even, which is more than you can say on most Gertie Jr. rooms. There's our spirit art. Maybe we'll get another one from the relic. Yeah, we did, okay. We actually more than broke even there, and again, totally ate my words, we went the wrong way. Uh, we're gonna go to the left this time. The right has higher dead-end potential, so that's actually probably where we'll find the boss because the game is being a total douchebag to us lately. With respect to finding the right way. We're gonna take damage here, yeah, no two ways about that one. I hate dealing with those assholes, I'll probably take damage here too. I shouldn't take damage here, I should be able to survive this easily. Yeah, okay. We got speed upgrade, which is actually good because we got that speed downgrade early and never really compensated for it. I think, anyway. If we got Horror Babylon, we would've gotten a speed upgrade. So we're going to be rolling entirely on Red Hearts fairly soon, which, if you watched many of my videos on Isaac, especially recently, you know that's a little anxiety provoking for me, because normally I like to be uh, rolling permanent Spirit Hearts at this point in the game. Just makes things easier when you got the Polaroid working in conjunction with you. Please, there we go. Boss room. Very good luck. Alright. We didn't take any damage there either, which is even better luck. Let's kill us uh, an Isaac here. So we're just going to save the candle. Basically, for, I, I guess, when Ipecac's charging, and it's gonna block all the shots that come in. I'm not, I'm not trying to get your hopes up here, but it is possible. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's possible we beat this fight without taking uh, a single hit. So much for that. I guess it's gonna be a little bit more difficult than I expected, but not too much more. It's only because the candle takes a second to actually charge up before it sends out. Otherwise, I could just instantly knock it out there. So far, so good. Like I said, this Isaac fight is easy. I expect the blue baby fight is going to be easy as well, should we actually get there, which is not uh, a foregone conclusion by any stretch of the imagination. Keep this up. Only got hit once on that fight. We still need Angel Pieces to take out, but it's okay. Uh, there is our Spirit Heart that we earned somehow, probably from the Relic. And now, big items here. Got some Yum Heart, PhD, Rosary, and Poison Touch. Poison Touch and Rosary? Very effective from a health perspective. PhD, why not? Yum Heart, totally worthless. 
We could probably make a case for using Yelmheart in this situation. I don't really see it though. There's our secret room, which is actually good. It's gonna allow me to save a little bit of backtracking, maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can't complain about that. You know, I've gotten better items from the chest, but I've certainly gotten worse items as well. So, as is right now, that is fairly good. You got Unicorn Horn. And I'm just trying to find the path downwards here. We can always use this as kind of like a hub. We can't get out of that way. So I'm guaranteed to take damage here, unfortunately. Let's place a bomb. Took two damage. Oh, I just blew myself back into the secret room. Fantastic. Well, there's Rosary used up, basically. I hate when you have Ipecac on that room. Same thing for, um... Well, actually, I guess you can make Epic Fetus work, but Fetus in a Jar, basically, you're screwed on that room. Uh, which is kind of the idea, I think. Anyway, we're just gonna... Take this guy out. Getting close to that hour marker, unfortunately. And Candle should be good enough. Or just our Guardian Angels will be good enough. Oh my god, he still managed to hit me. How is that possible? Poison Touch? Hook me up. How is this guy so fast? There we go. And we got some Lifesteal as well. Now we come down here and straight down to our boss room. Okay, I think we got this in the bag, basically. Nothing's ever going to stand in my way again. All one word. Mash on the keyboard here. Whenever an enemy gets close, we're going to use the candle. Now, extrapolating the amount of damage that we've taken so far versus the amount of health that we have, I'm pretty sure we could have done this fight for a billion hours right there. Divide by zero error. Shoot the... Thank you. It's it's when you mash the, the arrow key to send out blue candle, I think that it takes a second to work. Which is why uh, it's go take going so slowly for me. Also, I can't manage the two halves of my brain independently. Shoot it. Shoot the J. There we go. Okay, so we're almost done here. Two or three more hits with Ipecac, depending on the damage that the poison does. And this last Angel Fetus. And surprisingly, this run has worked out okay for us. We didn't even have to use that two of hearts card. That was a, just an ace in the hole. I'd rather have an ace in the hole than a hole in your ace. I don't even know what that means. Anyway, we're down to the Cathedral. This is our rare vanilla run. Or not to the Cathedral. It's like, oh, we're done the game. This is a rare vanilla run. And it actually worked out for the best for us. So as always, continue suggesting your challenge runs. The challenge run period is not over. Uh, as always, I will do the ones I deem most appropriate or entertaining. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm going to get some more coffee. See you later.